This stuff is not going to stop until ballot harvesting ends, which is why it felt like Kari Lake becoming governor of Arizona was so critical because she was going to put a stop to, to Arizona's ridiculous election process. They did it in Florida and look what happened. Right. Fair, actual fair elections, fair, free and fair elections are threats to democracy. Right. Just like informed voters. Um, but it won't stop until ballot harvesting ends. If you don't know what ballot harvesting is, essentially what it is, is in certain states, people are allowed to go door to door and just pick up ballots. Th simple as this. Knock, knock. Hi, how, who's this? Hi, sir. I'm going around for so and so. And certain unions will actually pay employees to go ballot harvest instead of work. Right. So, hi, sir. I'm from so and so union. We're collecting ballots. Have you turned your ballot in yet? Oh, well, no, I haven't. I, I wasn't really thinking of voting. Well, here's why you should vote for so-and-so the Democrat. And then they give them a whole campaign spiel. They fill it out for them. They take it and they go hand it off. They vote for them. That's it. We'll take that for you, sir. Now, remember, it's illegal to campaign at polls, but that's a loophole. You go do ballot harvesting, you can go campaign at somebody's door. Completely legal. And even if it wasn't, who's going to say you did? So they go do that. They hit heavily Democratic areas. They harvest ballots. And it's a twofold issue because you can go to heavily Republican areas. And take advantage of old people. And be like, hi, ma'am. And the 85-year-old woman, have you have you sent in your mail-in ballot yet? Oh, no, I haven't had time to go to the post office. Well, I'll take that for you. Then he throws it in a lake. Oh, sorry. Let's see, you could run on I'm going to kill your kids as long as you have ballot harvesters on your side. Paid ballot harvesters. And ballot har like, part of this is the Republicans' fault. They haven't stepped up to the plate. You got to be proactive here. You know your opponent's going to cheat before the game. Do something about it. Don't just sit there. Do something about it and stop it before it happens instead of crying foul afterwards. They did it two years ago, and you didn't do anything about it. Arizona, you had a Republican governor and a Republican legislature. What's your excuse? Florida got it fixed. What's your excuse? It's, you knew it was coming. You knew they were going to cheat. You know your opponent's game plan, and you don't do anything about it. It's third and one. The other coach just sent you a text saying, hey, I'm going to run the ball here. You don't drop eight guys back in pass coverage. 